Today, I wanna to share with you how to easily and inexpensively find keywords using Google search and another tool. So let's jump into this. Finding keywords is very important for you to reach a larger audience. And it's something that when I started my creator journey, it's something I didn't even know about. And so now I'm going back and having to redo a lot of things that I didn't do keyword researching for before when I first started. So I wanna help you in the very beginning and make sure that you do not miss this step. And it's not very difficult. Yes, there are techniques that are way more advanced, cost a lot of money, and there is a time and a place for those things. But for us, if you just want a simple way to do keyword research, this is your video. So here we go. You're gonna be able to do this through Google itself. And so the important thing that you need is there's two extra things that you will need to be able to do this. And they're very inexpensive. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. The tool that you're going to use is called keywords everywhere. It is an extension. It's a Google Chrome extension. So here's the um, extension that where you can, and I'll link to this where you can download this and it shows up in your uh, bar up here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to download that, but I'm going to hurry and show you just kind of, this is the pricing currently. Um, it's $10 for a hundred thousand credits. And this will last you almost a whole year, pretty close to it, depending on how much keyword research you do. Um, I will note that as you can see that mine is disabled right now because once I'm done doing keyword research, I do disable it. So that way I'm not using credits on things that I don't want to be searching for. So that's another little tip to make sure that you're not wasting uh, your credits on other things. So once you have this keywords everywhere extension installed, you're going to want to make sure that you do, you need to get an API key uh, right here. It tells you how to do all this in their start here. I believe that's where it's at. So jump on and do that, but I'm going to just show you the power of this simple tool. So we're going to hurry and go to Google and I'm going to hurry and turn on my keywords everywhere. This is how easy it is to turn on. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to start typing in whatever you want to research. So I am going to hurry and type in, um, let's go with this video. So we're going to do keyword research and hit enter. Now what's going to happen is you're going to start populating everything and you'll notice that there is some extra areas in your Google search. So there's this volume area right here underneath all these, there is a Moz DA score and um, some other information here. So those are the ones that I really just want you to kind of focus on. Moz DA score is Moz saying, it's not Google saying or the search engine saying, but it's Moz saying this is the domain's authority. And domain authority is important to Google. It shows that you know what you're talking about. So what you're gonna be doing here is seeing what other people's domain authority is for that term. Now, I'm gonna hurry and quickly note here that keyword research is is not a long tail keyword. And that is something that you are wanna, going to want to make sure that you are utilizing as long tail keywords when you're start, first starting out. When you get farther along, you can start ranking for these big keyword research uh, ones. So like just so this keyword research because the volume is so high, but your domain authority is gonna be so low that it's gonna make it more difficult for you to show up first in those type of ones. So you wanna make sure that you are using long tail keywords. So as you can see here too, when you drop down after you do your initial search, you'll have this drop down menu that uh, pulls up and with it, so Google always says this for you, but with it, you have search volume amounts that are pulling through as well. So you can start seeing what are people searching for and what could you potentially rank for? So how to do keyword re research. I think that's a better one. It's a long tail keyword, how to do key keyword research. You also, as a side note, 
when you do long tail keyword research, or sorry, long tail, when you use long tail keywords, you can also rank for the short keywords as well. So you have the potential to rank later on when you start uh, getting authority and building your site to rank for keyword research. So that is the benefit and the amazingness of long tail keywords. So let's say this is one that you're looking at now. So how to do keyword research research. And if you click up here again, it's going to start showing you all these different ones. If you scroll down here, it's going to show you the Moz score. So the domain authority for a bunch of these, but the key here is like these ones. Um, so some of these are actually keyword research tools that you can use. So if you keep scrolling down here, you, what you're looking for is people like you, all of these still so far, that's why keyword research is so much harder to rank for than anything else. But there's also some things that I want you to kind of know as you're scrolling here, there is this people also ask section. So what you're going to do here is see what people are looking for. So in this example, how do, how do you do keyword research step by step? So you could write a post about this. How do you do keyword research step by step? That could be your whole post. And that would allow you to rank for this question. Google is telling you this is what people want to see. It's a great idea to try to include as many of these questions as you possibly can. And if you drop down and look at things like it's going to show you what they're figuring, this is the best answer to that question. But once you do that, Google adds more to these questions. So if one is relevant to what you want to go for, then start clicking down and Google's going to start showing you more questions that people are asking around that topic. Now keywords, re keywords everywhere also shows you related keywords off to the right hand side. It shows you the trends on what people are searching for the SEO difficulty. So this is showing that it's harder to rank for because of the topic, obviously, if we go back and look at um, the, the other one, the keyword research, you'll notice it went up. So it's 83 on this one. So that is a good way too to know if this is going to be easier for you to rank for in the beginning. Um, I'm going to hurry and just switch this up now and we're going to do, um, because I am a DIY blogger as well, so I'm going to do DIY planter box just so we can see another example of this. So here's the volume of this. It's showing that the SEO difficulty is 66 over 100. So it's not as difficult as the other one. And if I scroll down here, and I'll keep scrolling, we have Home Depot, which has a high DA score. And then I want you to note this too, YouTube is always pulled up really high in search. So if you want to utilize YouTube, make sure that you're doing Google uh, keyword research as well for it, uh, just to see if you can try to pull through different areas. So, and here we are, we're getting lower ones. So we're starting to see different examples here. Now, if I open this back up at the top and do a drop down, it's gonna give me more ideas. So maybe I wanna do a DIY planter box for concrete. And, you know, sometimes you might look at this and say, oh, that's, I'm not going to get very many views on that per month. But that's the thing is in the beginning, you want to build upon it. You want to start creating these areas that you're going to get these lower ranking items and start building up your keyword bank. Let's look at it that way. Because you could do this DIY raised garden bed and it's higher. And if we click on it, um, it's going to show us over here again, this SEO difficulty, but I want to encourage you to try to go down some of these more in depth, long tail keyword ones. So if we go for the beginners, um, it's still high difficulty, but not as high. I wanted to do the concrete one cause that is one that's more specific and see how this one starts dropping down too. Now I'm going to quickly note, they always show sponsored ads at the beginning. And when you are searching for something, you want to make sure that it's not pulling an actual search to a shop. So the way I would explain that is if you do, for example, if I just typed in planter box or concrete planter box, 
Google's most likely going to show you planter boxes that you can buy. So the key here is you're going to put something in the beginning that's helping people determine how to do it themselves. So in my case, it's DIY or how to would be another one or build something like that. So, and then I would come down here, you'll notice again, YouTube is high ranking up there and they have a hundred over a hundred DA score. So that's the brilliant thing with being on YouTube is you get the DA score of YouTube when you do it. So just as a little side note there, but yeah, if you keep scrolling down here, um, there's this one right here that I want to show you. So this one has a DA score of 14 and they're on page one of Google. And that's something that is really, really good. Here's another one that's 40. So don't think that when you see all these high ones up here in the beginning that you can't, um, jump up to the front. If you are answering these questions that people are asking, if you're giving all the details that you can and following some more SEO stuff. And I do have, um, a SEO playbook that I have that you can download for free, which, uh, goes through this whole process with you. I'm trying to get onto my computer or my iPad <clears throat> so I can kind of go through this. Um, but yeah, it goes through this. It goes through another video that I'm going to talk about and it goes through just on page SEO, which is going to help you rank higher inside of Google as well. Now, if you're thinking, Oh, $10, or I mean, the other one was 50, I think that's the next bump up. A lot of the keyword research tools that you can purchase start at $50 a month. So this is so inexpensive. It's an easy way to get started to do your keyword research. That is the, that is the thing here. If you have not been doing keyword research because it's intimidating to you, this is the easy way to do keyword research. So thank you for joining me and stick around for next time because we're going to use another tool that shows you hidden keywords that you are already ranking for. And I'll see you next time.